Namaste, everybody. Raylene Byrne, Medicine for Your Spirit. I'm back. I've just uh, returned from five incredible weeks in the motherland of India. Um, amazing time. I ran two retreats over there. And I had some time in Jayapur, which is a very busy, exciting, noisy, polluted, chaotic um, city in between my two very village style retreats where it was all about receiving and being taken care of. So, you know, big extremes, which is what India is. It's a country of contrasts. But I want to share, there's so much I could talk about, but I want to share a wisdom that came to me uh, while I was in Jaipur, which is crazy place, beautiful but crazy. Um, and I want to pass it on because this is how I'm adopting to live the rest of my year, 2024. And that is I'm walking this year as a sacred cow. <laughs> so you've got to imagine this. You're in a city. There's millions and millions of people there. So probably like let's use Los Angeles as an example. And the traffic is unbelievable. There's all tuk-tuks and motorbikes and cars and there's horns tooting, but not aggressively. It's just a little I'm coming through type of, you know, toot, here I am. I'm going to come in front of you, whatever. It's very courteous. You don't feel as stressed or aggravated by the horns tooting. There's cars everywhere, tuk-tuks, lots of traffic jams. There's no road rules. Everyone just knows where they're going and they make their way there. But in amongst all of this, there are cows walking the streets, main roads, side streets, laneways. They're just walking everywhere. And what I watched in the chaos of the traffic and the noise, the whole madness, was the cows just walk. They keep walking. No matter what's around them, they do not pay any attention to it. They don't flinch. They don't kick. They don't, there's no nervousness. They just know where they're going and life bends around them. They just keep walking. All the traffic moves around them. So watching that day after day, I realized there's something beautifully wise around the cows. They know where they're going. Nothing is going to disturb their pathway. Life bends around you. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to keep living my life and let life bend around me. So maybe have a think about that. It's just something to start looking at, especially in this year of great change and great turmoil and great transformation, to follow your own path, to be really solid in it and not distracted and not reactive. Let life bend around you. So that's the words of wisdom from India. Um, now I have a caller, uh, Mary from Ottawa. Uh, hello, how are you? Hi. Sorry, Michigan. How are, How are you doing? I'm great. I Thank am you. refreshed and rejuvenated after my five weeks in India. I feel amazing. Wow. <laughs> yes, of, of Michigan. So, Mary, how can I help or support or give some guidance or information? What What would you like some help with? Well, I, I would like to hear if there is any um, advice for me from the other side. From spirit? Yeah. From your soul? Okay. So is it just a general information for you or do you have a specific area that you would like information for? Um, I would say, you know, this time of, for, for 2024 and, you know, things that um, have, have been in play in the very first part of this year, and moving forward so um you know like what what direction i'm i'm going to be headed evidently i feel like there's a shift and so i'm i'm trying to figure out what what direction uh things are going um and that would be for personal life um finance and love life you know like really anything yeah i guess general <laughs> That's a lot. So what's the next best thing for me? That's basically what your question is. What's the next best thing for me? So just yeah. while, I'm while I'm shuffling up the cards for you, I'll just say that 
2024, there's going to be rapid change this year, rapid and rapid transformation and really quick decisions around something will come up as an opportunity or something new and it'll be like, I've got to make a decision now. We're going to be um, in, there's a lot of chaos in the world and it's going to keep increasing, but we really need to be steady in ourselves. And I say this over and over and over. And I've just given a little teaching around walking through life as the sacred cow. That's what I learned in India. Let life bend around you, but stay in your own track. Um, so we'll have a quick look for you, um, for Mary, uh, some information. Let's do three cards, where she's at now, an action to take and an outcome. So Mary, uh, the next best thing for Mary. Okay, let's see where she's at right now. Here we go. All right, uh, the next one is, ooh, the action and the last one is the outcome. Okay, so the first one that's come out for you is abundance. So we sort of at now, it's like you're really wanting, and I'm going to put it this way because I'm feeling very strongly, you want to have more of an abundant way of living, whether it's more love, more money, more freedom, more um, opportunities, more adventures. It's like you want more, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we've just got to attune and align ourselves to it. Instead of coming from a place of lack, what I haven't got, it's aligning with, and the question is, what's the next best thing for me? So this is where you're at right now. It's just showing me that you're wanting a little bit more out of life. So if you're wanting more out of life, then what are you willing to do to change what you've got going on to um, have different experiences? And I'll give you a hint on that in a minute. The action to take is interesting. This is a rebirth energy. This is the unfurling. This is rejuvenation. This is you having a different perception. It's funny because that's the last one as well. I'll show you the last one as well here. Um, perception here, changing your perceptions. So the rebirth is, um, it's another part of you. What I'm hearing for you is there's another part of you that's ready to emerge. So it's a deeper, um, more enriched aspect of yourself that's wanting to live life without the stress, without the worry, without the uh, struggle. It's like, I just want to live life that's more aligned or more peaceful or more attuned with joy and happiness. So rebirth is for you, it's like, what changes can I make? Because every time we make a change, we activate a whole new um, chain of events for ourselves. So this is getting ready to unfurl. And the last one is for you is changing your perceptions. What do you actually want? Focusing on what you want, how you want to feel instead of what you don't have or what you don't like. It's okay, this is happening, but I really want to feel like this, or I want to have a different experience, or I want to have more love in my life or more appreciation. Um, so it's changing some perceptions because that ends up changing things in your life. And one of the biggest perceptions that I will give you from my experience just in the last five weeks in India is waking up every day and actually saying, one of the first things I say is, I really love my life. Whatever it is right now, I really love my life. Because when you look at your life right now, all of us, we will often have everything we need. We'll often have it. But the thing that's stopping us from full enjoyment or full acceptance or full allowing is where we feel like we don't have enough or we want more. So when we start to have that active engagement of I just love my life, your energy starts to elevate. You start to feel more connected, which means consciousness, your higher self, source, universe, whatever you believe in, can start dropping more beautiful blessings and beautiful experiences on your doorstep because you're so grateful and appreciative of what you already have. So when I'm looking at these three for you, you don't want to come from a place of lack. You want to come from a place of great uh, gratitude and love. The rebirth means new things will start unfurling within you and around you. And the last thing is your perceptions, how you see yourself, how you see life need to shift. Only one thing needs to shift and everything then starts to happen. So that's the next best thing for you right now. There you go. Is that okay, Mary? Okay. Yes, that's wonderful. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Good luck with that. And Thank yes, you. Just, if you did that just for two weeks, every day, just at some point in the day, just go, I really love my life as it is right now because that means I'm open to more and just see what happens. It's like a miracle. 
a miracle happens. Yes, I'm looking it's forward to it. Beautiful. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. you have Mary. a great evening. Thank you. Same to you. Bye. So um, there you go, a beautiful, simple reading. And that is something I will, you'll probably hear me say again and again over the next few weeks is the when you can really just love your life as you are right now. You know, that gratitude and that appreciation for what you already have, what you've created, whether it's, you know, a job, a business, uh, whether it's family, whether it's children, whatever it is, when you start to love that, you open yourself up to more, more of what wants to come to you to experience more love of whatever you have. So um, taking away this week, loving your life as it is, because there's so much more on offer for us. And walking through life as a sacred cow, staying in your path, let life bend around you. Uh, very simple practices from India. So uh, my time there was very enriching. And I will say, when you get to spend four weeks without any stress triggers, no stress triggers, it's amazing what your body does. Even in two weeks, two weeks, you go to a place where there is no stress triggers your body lets go of so much that you've held on to. It is incredible how much stress triggers we have in our, in our life, in our daily life, and how we hold on to them. And every time it happens, we get more annoyed, more reactive. When you, your body starts to let go, it's the spaciousness within you. The function of your all your um, organs and everything just... It's incredible, incredible. And I'll probably talk a lot more about that over the next little while. So thank you for joining me. This is Raylene Byrne Medicine for your spirit. You are the medicine. Start looking at where your stress triggers are and if they're yours, deal with them. If they're not yours, let them go. That's bye for me for this week. Bye.